sometimes a baby is born and, and, and maybe you've got an early pneumonia or something or bubbling in the mouth and the pieces, it could be a thing called a T.E. fistula. What in the world is a T.E. fistula? Well, in the, in the chest, we all have a windpipe, a trachea, that brings oxygen into our lungs and allows the carbon dioxide to go out. And we have a tube called an esophagus that lets us swallow our milk as babies and uh, eat our dinner. Uh, those structures are formed very early in utero, and they can have an abnormal communication between them. An abnormal communication is called a fistula. That would mean that uh, your breathed air could get to your bowels and your uh, swallowed food could end up in your lungs. Usually, when a baby is born, and it happens one in 3,000, it's not that rare. Usually, well, usually, when a baby is born, a tracheoesophageal fistula, they also have a blind ending esophagus. That means that any time they drink, they're going to return their milk. So it's, the, it's a complicated malformation. The esophagus is ending blindly in the upper chest so that the baby has a fatal condition. Anything they drink would be returned or, or sucked into the airway, causing death. And uh, when they uh, breathe, the air can rush into the fistula and swell up the abdomen. So you as a surgeon, what can you do to help this situation out? First aid steps. Put an intravenous in the baby, keep the baby warm. Stabilize. Get the head of the bed up and get a tube over the tongue to draw out the secretions so they don't go into the lung. The operation is an uh, operation in the chest. It's one of the most defining procedures of pediatric surgery because as my field evolved, the mortality from this disease plummeted. If a baby doesn't have a lot of other malformations, if they're not desperately premature. We can have a good long-term survival, go on to play sports and have children based on an operation in which we open the chest and divide that fistula, close the hole in the back of the trachea, and reestablish an esophagus so the baby can drink milk and breathe and the two channels can be separated and given continuity. It's very, very rewarding because they're born with a fatal condition and with the right first aid, transferred to the children's hospital, good pediatric anesthesia, a team including a neonatologist, a good pediatric surgeon, you can have a wonderful long-term result.